Often referred to as mini leopards, Bengal cats are one of the world's most popular cat breeds. Their striking coat patterns and active personalities are reminiscent of the power and grace of wild cats. But instead of stalking prey in the plains of Africa, this domestic cat breed is dominating cat shows and pouncing on toys in carpeted living rooms. They're stealing hearts with their wild good looks, but how much do you actually know about Bengal cats? Keep watching to learn more about where these cats came from, what their personalities are like, and why so many people have them as pets. Bengal cats are a hybrid cat breed. The Bengal cat breed was originally developed by breeding an Asian leopard cat with a domestic house cat. Asian leopard cats are small wild cats that are native to Southeast and East Asia. They only weigh about nine pounds and they're more slender than the average house cat, but they're 100% wild. Humanity has always had a fascination with wild cats. That's why lions, tigers, leopards, and other big cats have historically been kept as exotic pets. But this is not something that we suggest or recommend. The Bengal cat breed was created as a way to safely, humanely, and legally have a little bit of a wild cat in your home. Bengal cats were originally called safari cats, but this name didn't last long. They were soon called Bengals to reflect the scientific name of the Asian leopard cat, Felis bengalicis. The first Bengal cats were considered too wild. As one of the newest cat breeds recognized by the official organizations, the creation of the Bengal cat breed is credited to Jean Mill. Mill started her work with breeding hybrid cats in 1963, and all of today's Bengals are related to her cats bred in the early 1980s. Those first generation cats had personalities similar to their wild parents. Hybrid cats are recognized with F1 representing the first generation where cats have one leopard cat parent. F2 being the second generation with two wildcat grandparents, and so on. The F3 generation was the first generation to be considered fully domesticated, and Bengals must be at least F4 to compete with the International Cat Association. Today's Bengal cats are bred between other Bengal cats and not Asian leopard cats. They behave like any other domesticated cat, and they don't require any special care. Their look might be wild, but they're all house cats. Bengal cats are the only domestic cats with rosette markings that mimic big cats, including leopards, jaguars, and ocelots. We can't talk about Bengals without mentioning their incredible coat markings. The two officially recognized in basic coat patterns are the rosettes and the marbled. The wild looking patterns are outlined in black, chocolate, or silver. There are several different variations of the breed, including the most common brown tabby, seal sepia tabby, seal lynx point, and black silver tabby. It's not just a Bengals coat that gives them their wild look. Bengals inherited their coat patterns from their wild ancestors, but they also have several other features that connect them to wild cats. For example, they have wide noses centered between prominent whisker pads. They also have slender yet athletic bodies, and they're built long and lean and have thick tails like other wild cat species. What's even cooler is that Bengals inherit what is known as the glitter gene, this gene is thanks to their wild ancestors and gives their fur a special sparkle when the light shines on them. These cats love the water. In the wild, big cats like tigers and leopards are great swimmers. They love the water, and Asian leopard cats even have webbed paws to aid them while swimming. This attraction to water is another characteristic Bengals have inherited from their wild ancestors. Owners of these playful cats often find their pets with their paws in the aquarium. Bengals are also known to join their favorite humans in the bathtub or shower. They're not afraid of water like other domestic cats, and most enjoy time spent frolicking in it. Bengals are great at learning tricks. These intelligent cats can be stubborn at times, but when you find the right technique, it's not hard to teach them basic tricks. Clicker training with a stash of tasty treats is a good place to start. These cats can easily learn to sit and high five, and some of the more motivated felines can even learn skills like turning lights on and off and opening doors. That intelligence also means Bengals act a bit like toddlers, constantly active and getting into things they shouldn't. While Bengals are part wild, Abyssinians only look like wild cats. Check out the next video to learn all about these foxy felines. You know you want to.